Hey, where are we? I'm at Port Neil. And this has inspired me. I think what we're going to do here while we're in Port Neil is have a go at recreating some of these pictures that we've seen on the way into town. Look back at me and show me your beautiful smile. We've moved on to Tumby Bay. Owen and I are going to head out this morning and see if we can't get a few squids so we can have a bit of a seafood cook-up later today. Slowly, slowly. Into the net. Into the net. Okay, drop it down. Good job. Hey, good job, dude. Now Owen and I are going to head out again and see if we can't get a few more pink board whiting to complete the banquet. Whoa, Owen, it's just one. One child served. Mm. Daddy, you kind of <laughs> this is the tentacle. Owen wouldn't eat it. And I'm keen <laughs> as. Mm. Hey, where are we? We're at Port Neil. Let's get the photo. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Cheeky monkey. Well, g'day guys and welcome back to another episode. This is episode two of our Air Peninsula series. We've moved down from Port Gibbon and arrived at Port Neal. Let's head in and check out what we can see. All right, on the way into Port Neal, we've got all these photos of things you can do in Port Neal. Well, this is a really good idea to put up some images of what you can do in your little town. Something that I've been wanting to do lately is really improve my photography, and this has inspired me. I think what we're gonna do here while we're in Port Neal is have a go at recreating some of these pictures that we've seen on the way into town. What do you reckon, guys? Will we try and do this one? Yeah! Let's go for a walk down and pick some others that we can try and do. Okay. Well, what would we call that? Photo number two that we're gonna do is a artistic shoreline photo. Photo number three is definitely up my alley, catching some squid on the jetty and getting a shot of the squid on the jetty. Righto, photo number four looks to be a sunset over the Port Neal jetty. Reckon we try and do that one as well? Mm -hmm. Alright, we've got our four photos to go and get. Let's go try and get them. Yeah! Do you want to go and get the first photo? Yeah! Alright, let's go. Okay, photo number one, guys. Do we remember what it was? Yeah. What was it? Mm, find a shell on the beach. No, that was photo number two. Photo number one was going down the steps to check out the beach. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So it looked to me like it was up the beach from this jetty. So I think we can get on the beach here. So we'll drive ourselves up on the beach and see if we can figure out where they took that photo. Okay. All right, I think we found the spot. My kids wait for no one. They're already running up there to find it. <laughs> Let's go get this photo. All right. We found the spot. Excuse the wind, it's quite windy here. So it looks like the person was walking down those steps onto the awesome looking beach. So that's what we're gonna try and recreate with my two kids. You guys wanna pretend to walk down? Yeah! I will take a photo of you. Are you ready? Okay, look back at me and show me your beautiful smile. Great. Good job guys, that's photo one done. All right, we're gonna go off and try and get photo number three this afternoon. I've given everyone an early dinner. Gonna head down to the jetty with a few squid jigs to see if we can't get that photo of the squids on the jetty. We can see the jetty from here, so we're just gonna wander on down, see if we can't get us a few squid for this squid photo. And for dinner. <laughs> There's our jetty. Well, she is looking like she's gonna be a little bit chaotic. It looks like this squid photo is gonna be a little bit more challenging than I expected. Things were uh, quite chaotic down here tonight. There's so many uh, parties going on here. It's way busier than the last time we were here. I reckon our best chance is to maybe get up early and try in the morning. Righto, so we're going for what I think is shot number four, which is the 
jetty all the way over there with the sun setting behind it. The sun is starting to set now, so I definitely need to pull my finger out and get this started, but quickly I want to show you. I got a new drone. It's the Mavic Air 2S. We're going to send that up, we're going to send it along and uh, try and get a shot of the sunset over the jetty. Alright, so we had to move spot, we had to leave the Port Neal uh, caravan park behind because they were filling up. We've got this new spot, so there's a little free camp here outside of Port Neal. We've even got a new little perch down there. This is the perch here at Port Neal. Have a look at the outlook. How good is living? Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna put the drone up and show you guys where we camped here, free camping in Port Neal. So you wanna go to war with me? You're talking like you think you're royalty. You think that I'm afraid, but I don't break. I heard you question my stability. You think I'll fall just like a guillotine. But I am here to stay, won't look away. The storm is coming, so you better start running. No, you can't control me. just come down to the beach here at Port Neal. We're gonna do a little bit of swimming and I'm gonna try and get what I think was photo number three. Photo in the sand dunes with the shell looking all pretty. That's what we're going for while we're here. A few shells that everyone's been finding while we've been here. Where's your snail shell, dear? Your snail shell. Ah, I, fa I found it. It's on the seat, not with the other shells. Right, 
I've got a bunch of shells. I'm going to take these and set them up in my photo for a little bit of interest. We're going to try and recreate photo number two. There we go. A couple of shells sitting in there, making that little open space in the sand look a little bit more interesting. All right, we're gonna have one last attempt at getting the final photo of the squid on the jetty. It's the middle of the day, which certainly isn't the ideal time to go squidding, but uh, things in the evenings on this jetty at the moment are absolutely hectic because it's Christmas holidays and New Year's and it's just a lot busier than uh, it was when we first came down here and it's just, it's just not working. So yeah, we're gonna try down here in the middle of the day and see if we can't get one to get that final shot. And if we don't, we don't. We'll have only got three of the four target photos for this photography challenge. Well, things on the jetty are still a bit chaotic even in the middle of the day. Everyone's leaping into the water and causing quite the commotion. So I reckon we've got about zero chance of catching a squid out here. So I'm gonna call it quits or trying to get that photo. But where one door closes, another one opens. Kaylee wants to jump into the jetty and I'm going to jump with her to give her the confidence to do it. So we're going to go do some jumping on the jetty. Yeah! Oh my yeah! <laughs> Alright, we're going to warm up on this smaller one. I'm going and Kaylee's going right after me. Are you come? Are you ready Kaylee? Come right yes. behind me. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> go kiddo! <laughs> yeah. We're graduating to the big one. I don't want to do this. <laughs> That's pretty scary. <laughs> Look at this one. Have to do this, Come on, be brave, my darling. Kaylee, you can do it. But I don't want to do it. It's just falling. Easy. Ready? Three, two. Go, Kaylee. Just jump and land the way I was telling you. You'll be fine. Uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> Woo well done. We were just packing up to leave our little spot here in Port Neal, and I noticed this gorgeous little blue tongue lizard hanging around my wheels right before I was going to leave and we can't leave you there mate because you might get run over and I surely don't want to be responsible for that so I'm just going to take him I'm going to let him go just over here a little bit where he won't get into any mischief with my caravan wheels There you go, beautiful. She's so pretty. Well, g'day guys, we've moved on to Tumby Bay. Well, we're about 15 minutes out of Tumby Bay, staying at a free camp called Red Cliff Beach. This place is just gorgeous, have a look at it. Beautiful turquoise water. I've had the boat moored up out there. We've been going fishing and eating seafood and cruising up the beach and a bit of snorkeling. It's just a stunning spot. I can't believe it's free. Anyway, I'm gonna put the drone up now and give you a bird's eye view of where we've camped and then we'll go through what we did while we stayed here at Tumby Bay.
this. Good morning from our little free camp here on Tummy Bay. How's that view? The boat sitting down in the water down there. Owen and I are going to head out this morning and see if we can't get a few squids so we can have a bit of a seafood cook up later today. Okay, so super simple strategy for catching some squid. Just gonna drop in the electric. I'm gonna pass Owen his squid jig rod. Squid jig rod. There you go, mate. You can cast that out when you're ready. We're we just gonna troll at a nice slow pace with that squid jig running behind it. Okay, let some more line out. Good boy. Oh, he got me! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Squid's gonna go in here. A little bit of water. Looks like the Svetos are having fresh calamari tonight. <laughs> He's a small one, but he's going to make some nice food still. There we go. Hey, good job. Oh. Alright, we got number two. Dad little seems to be doing all the work today, Owen. Wind yours up for me, mate. It's another little guy. They're all quite little in here. Right, no size limit on them. So, you'll be number two. We get one more and we'll have a feed. Remember, nice and slow, buddy. Go stand up near the end. Owen's got one. Just gonna wind it in nice and slow. Slowly, slowly. Into the net. Into, okay, drop it down. Good job. Hey. Good job, dude. And um, maybe it's the biggest one. Might be the biggest one. High five. Righto, we got ourselves about four squid when we went out this morning. Now that's half of our seafood banquet taken care of. Now Owen and I are gonna head out again and see if we can't get a few more King George Whiting to complete the banquet. You excited, son? Yes, I'm gonna proceed. All right, tactics are pretty simple for us to catch a few King George Whiting. We've come out to about six or seven meters of water. Just dropped the encoder in and having that work as the motor, oh sorry, as the anchor. This is the secret weapon. All round whiting nuts. We're just gonna lob all those into the water, hopefully attract in the whiting. What about that one? And then for bait, got a few Squid rings, we cut those into strips, drop them down, and hopefully we get us a lovely feed of King George Whiting. All right, here you go, buddy. Go catch us some whiting. He's gonna drop it straight down, mate. When it gets to the bottom, flip the bail arm over. Got one, Owen. Looks like a good one. Hold it up like that, that's it. Keep whining, hold it up off the boat. Whoa, Owen, it's a huge one. Hold it up off the boat, can you buddy? That's it. Come on, Two, one hand on there, that's it. Whoa, Owen, oh, keep winding. I can't keep. Hold it up. You can. Stop, stop, stop. Wow, Owen, oh, that's the biggest one yet. <laughs> How does that feel? It feels really hard, that one. It feels really hard. Yeah. <laughs> that is an absolutely cracking King George Whiting, mate. Well, guys, 
Owen took the cake while we were fishing with this 40 centimeter King George whiting. We ended up with five in total. Unfortunately, I ran out of GoPro battery to capture all of the uh, fish catches, but that's how things go. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up all these fish so that we can have our seafood bonanza tonight. The agenda is the squid we caught. Clean them up and cut them into some calamari rings. The kids are gonna love it. Look at that. That's the thanks I get for prepping my fish down here and giving the seagulls a bit of a feed. Little bastards. Kaylee's made some new friends. She's gonna go and play with her friends and Owen's decided he's gonna come and help make dinner. Is that right? Owen's gonna come get messy. He's gonna do all the flowering and the grubby work. Works well for me. To. You're gonna be my little grubby hands man. Can you mix all that around? So tonight we're doing this instant batter that we picked up at the supermarket. The kids really, really enjoy the batter, so we're gonna go with that one. That's kind of like the same flour. It is kind of like the flour, but it's a little bit different. It's got some corn flour and some other ingredients. We're gonna put it in like this. You know what we need? We need a plate to put them on. Oh, we can just put them on the table, it's okay. And you're gonna pop them down there when you're done. Okay? I'm gonna help you, because we're gonna be here forever. Okay, so the next thing we're doing is using our beautiful whiting fillets, fresh caught by Owen and I today, right? Yes. While you're cooking dinner, I'm gonna have the wine. Ah, oh, speaking of wine, darling. So I drove into Port Lincoln today and I've got some lovely local wine that we'll be having tonight with dinner. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, that's the flowering job done, son. Now we're just going to put it in the batter and then it's going to go into the oil, which will hopefully be at temperature because we turned that on earlier. Oh. We're going to make up our batter. The uh, packet did have a a level of water to put in, but uh, I've thrown it away and I don't have a measuring cup anyway, so we're just going to do it by sight. But I'm going to use soda water and we've put this in the freezer so it's extra cold as well. So I'm just going to mix this until, coming close to you, until I feel like it's the right sort of consistency. Oh, perfect. You're even going to hold it. Oh, can you hold the other side? Hello 
everything up with a bit of salt, toss it out and serve it out to the kids. Mm. All right, take this over for the kitties. Press it down on the picnic blankets. Thank you, Daddy. Here you go, Owen. Daddy, here's your color, <laughs> This is the tentacle. Owen wouldn't eat it. And I'm keen as. Cut mm. mm. tear on my skin. Oh no, tart hair on the new dress. <laughs> oh, I should say the good dress. Yeah. <laughs> mm, nom, nom, nom. So I'm eat your tentacle, tell me what you think, dear. You just have to wipe off the uh, calamari. And then sauce. And Pelican. it's okay. It's <laughs> yummy. Calamari ring. Mm -mm. Is that better? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's hard impressing everyone. Thank you, Owen, for helping catch and cook dinner. I'm welcome. And Kaylee, thanks for just eating dinner without complaining. Thanks. We're here in Coffin Bay National Park. We're just on our way out to Gunya Beach and what have we seen? We've seen five emus, three babies and a mum and dad. Throw river. Like me it drifts away. I would watch you stay. Well the cool part about being out here in Coffin Bay National Park is all the wildlife. This is a beautiful shingleback lizard who was crossing the road. So Kaylee's just going to give him a hand off the road, aren't you darling? Shall we let him go? So we're here in Coffin Bay and they are famous for their oysters. Woo! Let's go take this down to the perch and get into it. Holding a piece of rope so they don't float away together. The bromance is strong. Drove into. <laughs> Try again, but that'll be a good outtake. A good bloops. Good bloops. 